Proverbs 31 and 10 says, who can find, come on, talk to me. Who can find what? A virtuous woman. Fellas, repeat after me. Who can find a virtuous woman? Nobody if you keep taking advantage of her. A virtuous woman is worth more than rubies. And how many of us have cast our jewels among swine? Because we were desperate for time. You cannot give. Jesus says, do not cast your pearls to swine. Some people don't deserve your time. When you know your value, you add interest to it. And don't settle for anything less. Everybody doesn't deserve your virtue. Talk to me, Jesus. Jesus was on his way to heal Jairus' daughter, but a woman who had been on her menstrual cycle for 12 years decided she needed to be healed. And in her mind, she said, if I could just touch. Did she say him or him? She said, if I could just touch his him, not him. In other words, she was driven by love, not lust. If she was driven by lust. She said, if I could just touch him. She said, no, 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 no. I have so much faith that if I just touch his him, then I'll get him. She touched his him, and Jesus stopped in the middle of the road and said, who touched me? And the disciples said, man, you tripping, dog. There's a bunch of people touching you. He said, no, somebody touched me because I felt, watch this, my virtue leave my body. Even in ministry, oh my God, help me preach God. Even in ministry, even for those of us who are caregivers, it's draining when people reach out and touch you. And if you are not careful, even in your doing good, you'll leave yourself vulnerable to do something bad because your virtue is the character that keeps you where your talent takes you. But if you continue to give it to your lower nature, you'll find yourself allowing your virtue to be gone and put you in a vulnerable position to do something wrong. That's why you got to 